Now, as we mentioned in the headlines, the DA Federal Executive Council is expected to announce the political future of Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille this morning. For more on today's meeting, let's cross over to our reporter in Cape Town now, uh, Nomowetu Salwundli, who's following the story for us. Nomowetu, good morning to you. Let's, uh, let's uh, find out a little bit of the logistics. When can we expect things to start getting underway? Well, a very good morning to you, Leanne. It would seem like it is D-Day for Cape Town Executive Mayor, Ms. Patricia Delo. We received messages late last night to say that the DA's um, FedEx would um, give um, an update to the media this morning on uh, Delo. Now, you know, Leanne, that it's been uh, more than a year where we've seen uh, Mayor Patricia Delo back and forth with the DA. You'll remember that it started with a public spat between her and safety um, um, and security MACO member J.P. Smith. And then the, the DA decided that, you know, um, if the two were not seeing eye to eye and they worked together, this will obviously have an impact on service delivery um, in the city. And therefore, the Stian Hazen um, report was then conducted. We all know that the, the Stian Hazen report had a lot of damning evidence against uh, Mayor Patricia Delo with regards to upgrades to her home, maladministration within the city, saying that she ruled with an iron fist uh, and that she, she, she actually um, managed, controlled people within the city and um, ensured that people that she wanted to be hired, um, be hired within the city. We do know that at this point in time, Mayor Patricia Delo is, um, has got this matter in court challenging the Stian Hazen uh, report, but we do know that that case has come to a halt at this point because the court has um, instructed um, the DA to give them papers to ensure that they actually look at the matter carefully. So we're not too sure what's going to happen there at this stage. But there's a lot that has happened straight after that Stian Hazen report was made public. We do know that the Democratic Alliance then called Mayor Patricia DeLille to a, a disciplinary disciplinary hearing um, which took place a couple of months ago. It, start, it kicked off, um, it started but we do know that there were a lot of logistical issues there with people that um, then opted out because they couldn't sit um, in the panel and then the DA saying that they would then look for replacement for these people that had recused themselves from the panel but that has come to a halt until now. And throughout all these processes the end I can say that Mayor Patricia DeLille has maintained her innocence, saying that the only thing that she wants to do is to clear her name. And if the DA wants to come forward and say there are all these allegations um, before her, then they must test them. They must put her to a DC um, in front of a disciplinary hearing and allow her to give her side of the story. You remember when that um, disciplinary hearing started a couple of months ago, she was also saying that she wants it to be made public because she is the mayor of the city of Cape Town and she believes that people need to hear what um, is said in those hearings because she is in a bid to clear her name. We do know that um, although that um, process is still at a halt, the DA did have um, its Congress in Gauteng a couple of months ago as well and a few changes were made to its constitution and something that we now know as the DeLille clause, which means that the party can actually recall members when the caucuses do not have faith in them anymore. Now, you remember earlier on in the year as well, a motion of no confidence um, in Mayor Patricia DeLille was brought by the party in the city council. We know um, that um, she won that by just one vote because there were some opposition parties that voted for her and there was some, some members within the caucus that also voted for her. So she won that very narrowly by just um, one vote. The DA 
then did another internal um, caucus vote on uh, a vote of no confidence in her. And we are told that more than 70% of those caucus members actually voted against the Dillil. Now, this speaks to this new clause that was um, voted in in the DA Congress in Gauteng a couple of months ago, that they will be able to remove someone should the caucus not have faith in them anymore. And this is exactly what we're seeing happening in the city of Cape Town with regards to the caucus and uh, Mayor Patricia DeLille. So we, what we're likely to hear here this morning, um, uh, Leanne, is the, the FedEx actually reporting back um, to the people on what the future is for Mayor Patricia DeLille. But um, in all the interviews that she has, she's maintained that I know that the DA wants me out, but I am not going to go down without a fight. And the only thing, the only reason I'm doing all of this is, in, is to ensure that I, I, I clear my name. I've been a politician for many, many years. I've fought for the people. I'm all about people's rights. And this is what I want to do. And a very important thing that I must mention also, Leanne, is that um, you remember that there was um, an Auditor's General report that was circulating on social media. We do know that a couple of DA um, MPs actually retweeted um, this uh, alleged AG report. We do know that yesterday it was confirmed that uh, this AG report is actually fake. We do know that um, Mayor Patricia Dill, we did speak to her last night, that this morning she will be laying criminal charges on those MPs that actually um, retweeted or circulated this um, Auditor General report that was indeed um, fake. We, we know that this Auditor General's report was to do with um, regards to corruption or said corruption with regards to my city bus tenders within the city. So it's been a very, very long, tiring road um, for Mayor Patricia Dillil. Also financially as well. I mean, she's had to have lawyers and everything in her bid to clear her name. We're not too sure what uh, the, the DA is going to tell us here at 9 o'clock this morning, but um, we'll keep you updated with regards to that, Leanne. With that, it's back to you in the studio. Right, uh, Namoweza, thank you very, very much for uh, giving us a, a very comprehensive update of the, uh, the history of uh, these uh, charges and the case that uh, it has, the DA has against Patricia. The law, we should find out a lot more clarity this morning, and no doubt we will cover that all live here on uh, SABC News. All right, let us take...